Hello and welcome back to Let's Develop Code Hunt. Uh, although I did not finish the fifth sector last time with all the skill points, I still have no idea how to do that. So I continue in this episode with sector six. Um, as you can see here, I already finished the first three tasks, by it, but uh, somehow I managed to mess up my recording. So I reset the levels and I will step through them now quickly and then continue with the levels that I don't know yet. So actually the first uh, level of sector 6 is quite a peculiar one uh, because if I just hit capture code then I'm finished with the default implementation that was given to me. I'm not sure what's the intention of this level but uh, yeah, that's, let's stay with, with it's fairly easy to solve it and continue to the next one. This one is actually a bit more complicated. I'm going to hit the capture code button because since I finished the level already it doesn't do that automatically. Um, what I'm supposed to do here is to uppercase every second character in a string as you can see from the test input. So what I would do in Java is say I convert the string to a char array and then loop over the char array um, dot length length and since I have to uppercase every second I loop over every second character and say that this character is actually the character to uppercase and then in the result I'm going to create a new string from this array. Let me compile this. Um, okay, I'm on the Java site. Ah, okay, this is not a method of the primitive character, but it's a static method on the character class. So it's to upper uppercase on the character class. And uh, this should actually solve the if I would be able character to type uh, it should solve this thing and of course strings written up a case not one of my best days in uh, terms of typing correctly but with this solution uh, typed correctly we actually solve the task at hand which the tool will hopefully tell us in a couple of seconds but um, interesting originally I did not get the full uh, skill points for this Java solution and I implemented a very much more ugly C sharp solution which was shorter and got the full skill rating for this apparently the game remembered it um, I think I'm going to continue because I'm convinced that this is actually the best way to do this in Java. If you have any ideas how we could achieve the same thing in a shorter way that's still anyhow readable, uh, just drop me a comment, let me know. I do an episode on uh, improved solutions. For now, let's continue to the next task. On a planet far, far away, they capitalize the last letter of every word. Uh, this is kind of a funny thing, so the idea is the same, only no, now we don't uh, uppercase every second character, but every last character of the word, which is either um, the, a character that appears before a space, or the last character of the word at all, as we can see here. So, again, I convert um, the string to a char array, to work with it and then I loop over this uh, array and I actually start with a with a second um, second character in the string because I always have to see what comes after the character which I want to um, turn to uppercase and I go to the actual length of the array so this uh, is one one higher than the last index in the array and I go this time step by step and the condition is 
if um, i equals s is length or um, ssi is a space character then I turn SSI minus 1 to uppercase character to uppercase uh, I minus 1 so whenever I encounter uh, uh, a space or the end of the string I can turn I turn the previous uh, character to uppercase and then I return a new string of this array and funnily enough uh, if I didn't mistype again uh, this should solve the task and this time I got the uh, full skill rating to begin with so apparently there's no uh, much easier solution on the C sharp side okay and with this I managed to re-record the first three uh, tasks of sector 6 and going to dive into uh, unknown woods for myself as well so from here on again I'm going to play this game blind let's see try to capture the code fragment we have as input a string and an end and are supposed to return a character which is from what I can see here probably the uh, character at the given index so I would just say let's try char at uh, x as a result value this captures it it's the most elegant possibility thanks uh, would be strange if it wasn't so we can continue okay next one we get two strings as input and are supposed to return yet another string which is interesting because it looks just like two concatenated with one and that's actually so the solution interesting this is easier than I expected the last ones were way more complicated but let's see what happens now so next code segment we get in a string and want to return a string we have a string of actually five A's and we're supposed to return a string of uh, only three A's interesting so just return a substring substring of three three uh, of the first three characters um, this is not what really ah wait first three is like this sorry I returned everything behind the first but it's actually the three last um, characters I'm supposed to return I guess so what I want to return here is from string length minus three result no that's still not it So for f 5a's I'm supposed to return 3a's, for 6 I'm supposed to return 3 actually, no it's not 6 is it, it's 7, for 7 I'm supposed to return 4, let me get some more output here, so if string length equals Five, then return string substring zero to three 
if string length equals seven, then return string substring zero to four, else return the string for now, just to get some more output. Okay, it's the first, it's the last three I, I want to have. And in this case, I don't really know. It's probably also the last three. But apparently, if, it long, if it's longer, I have to return more. So, uh, in any case, it's string length minus three. I found that out before, I know. Um, string length minus four, in this case. But for one, two, three, four, five, six, we're supposed to return three, so maybe it's four smaller equals six. Return the last three. For seven, return the last four. And for maybe just for everything else, return the last four. Didn't see anything longer than four characters as a return value. So maybe that's it. No, for 9 I'm actually supposed to return 5. So somehow the output grows with the length of the string. The question is how far does it grow? Does it grow... Apparently it does not grow linearly or he doesn't generate inputs for stuff, no, for 6 and 5 length it's the same so it does not grow linearly but let's see, so if s.length smaller equals than 8 then minus 4 return minus 4 else return s substring s length minus 5 Let's see what else we get. For 11 now it's 6. So there's got to be some, some function uh, that maps from the length to the number of characters we want to return. So my guess is that this is always the uh, half of, length of the length of a string rounded upwards. Um, which we could try out by returning a substring of math seal s length divided by 2.0 add a semicolon and see what's going on cannot be applied to the given types math seal it's probably a double so I convert this a double or float uh, and anyways I have to convert this to integer for strap string to work with it but we see here that this is actually not working out but I'm a little confused now because actually 5 divided by 2 should be 2.5 rounded up should be 3, which would be what I expect. Oh no, actually it's not what I expect. I have to round this down because I, I have to count from the uh, beginning and not from the end, so I round this to the floor and then go from that index, so it should be uh, the right one now and then I actually don't even need the the math floor thing but I can just use the integer cutoff uh, to make this easier but first let's wait to see whether my solution is correct or not uh, which we'll hopefully know in a couple of seconds 
then I can remove the uh, additional code I have down there. But it's taking quite a while. Uh, I cut that quickly out because it took quite a long time. But as you see, the solution uh, worked. And I'm, I even got the full skill rating, even though there's a lot of unnecessary code in here. Let me clean that up quickly. Uh, then even take out take out this unnecessary part here. I guess I can even just do an integer division and save the cast. So I guess this should compile and capture the thing, which is much more concise than before and actually uh, satisfies the game. So let's continue. We have a new code fragment that gives us a string and we have to return a string from what I see here in the first test example we're supposed to uh, turn the first two characters to uppercase which is actually fairly simple if I just uh, do my convert to char, char array, array trick again to char array array with epsilon uh, with y sorry um, and then just turn the first character to uppercase and turn the second character to uppercase I see that this is absolutely not safe for small strings but let me see first if the game is satisfi satisfied with that um, if I have to put much more effort in it and how good the skill rating will become for this rather simple solution. Actually there's test cases that fail because again the number of characters I turn to uppercase actually depends on... interesting depends on the length of the string but also there's some conversion going on interesting so it's actually not the first characters turned to uppercase but it appears it is the last characters turned to uppercase that replace the first characters because here it's bz which is the last two is it is zbz which is the last three and here it's zbzz which is the last four and the, the tail is uh, left as is so um, we actually yeah we need the char array that's right and we need to convert it into a string at the end so this is what we want to do for sure and we want to loop over this um, but actually I want to start so it's the last two characters for a length of five and it's three characters for a length of two, four, six, eight interesting so it's not divided by three this time this time maybe it's divided, uh, not divided by two, maybe it's divided by three um, in this case it's two, four, six, eight, nine and it's four interesting uh, yes, so I guess the index I start is uh, the half of the length rounded up this time so um, in start is math is an integer from math dot seal um, s dot length divided by two to zero and then I want to have the index from the beginning and I want to have the index from start. And I want to go as long as start is smaller than um, my 
array size and I want to increase i and I want to increase j and I want to say that at the eth position I place character point uh, dot to uppercase um, as a j so does this work did I get the offsets right? We'll know in a couple of seconds. No, I did not get them right because there's actually an index out of range exception. So apparently I get some kind of off by one error here. Yeah, okay, that's going to happen everywhere. That makes sense. Um, for start is smaller than length. So this should not exceed Ah, oh, okay, sorry, yeah, it's not, it's of course not start, but it's J, so let's retry that. Um, maybe it's working now. Working for the first example, but not working for the second example, which actually turns too many characters upstream, so apparently this start condition is not yet right but since this episode is already quite long I think I'm going to defer this uh, to next time so if you enjoyed this episode feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel or follow me on twitter um, also look at my other recordings I'm doing and of course if you have any comments or ideas just drop me a comment I'm always happy to uh, get feedback and to do other episodes uh, based on that. See you around.